Today on my lathe, I have a chunk of poplar which I'm going to turn into a bowl. It's approximately 11 inches in diameter and about 2 inches thick. Poplar isn't a wood often used for fine woodworking like this. It's actually quite soft and the grade isn't really considered that interesting. However, I see the odd piece that has a really interesting green color to it, so I decided to finally pick up a large piece, which I cut down into several bowl blanks like this. I'm going to start roughing the bowl down to the approximate shape using my 5 8 inch bowl gouge. After I've gotten the bottom of the piece mostly flat, I switch over to my S-shaped tool rest, which allows me to get around the corner of the piece in one sweep. Yes, I absolutely do have shavings everywhere, including down the back of my shirt. and I got my respirator just to protect my lungs. Now I'm using my 3 8 inch bowl gouge form a mortise in the base of the bowl. This will allow me to turn it around later on my chuck and hollow the inside. up my half inch bowl gouge and I'm just forming a little foot on the base. I've never actually done a foot like this but I thought it would be a nice time to try something new. To allow a strong hold later, the inside of this mortise has to be dovetailed. I use a custom ground scraper to do this.
Whenever I first made the handle for this bull gouge, I made it really long so I'd have lots of leverage. But I knew at some point it would get in the way, so I actually made the bottom bit threaded so I could shorten the handle in situations like this where I'm elbowing the camera. job of just bringing out the detail in the foot of this bowl and making sure everything looks really nice and crisp. Earlier when I was using my half inch bowl gouge I wasn't getting the results I'd like. To smooth out the shape I used my 5 8 inch bowl gouge to shear scrape the outside of the bowl. This helps me smooth out the curve but leaves a little bit of a rough surface for me to have to sand away later. You can't really see it in the video here, but because the poplar is so soft, my shear scraping is actually tearing out the end grain a little bit. It's not too bad, but it just means I'm going to be spending a lot more time sanding later. To sand the bowl, I'm using my inertial sander with the 2 inch head. The head has a ball bearing which allows it to counter rotate to the spinning of the lathe. This makes for a much better finish. As you can see, I have quite the pile of dust building up here. Whenever you do sanding like this, it's always a really good idea to wear a respirator to protect your lungs. After sanding up to 600 grit, the outside of the bowl is done, and it's time to turn it around and hollow the inside. But first, I have a mess to clean up. To begin the hollowing process, first I turn the bowl around on the chuck. sharpening my chisel, I can begin rough hollowing the inside of the bowl. Earlier I drilled a hole to the desired depth of the inside. This gives me a solid reference point and helps me from going too deep and going through the bottom of the bowl.
After I've gotten the inside of the piece rough hollowed, I go back to my half inch bowl gouge to do a couple finishing cuts. Now it's time to sand the inside of the bowl. I wanted to do something a little bit different with the rim of this bowl, so first I sand to 80 grit. I use an old wire brush to scratch texture into the rim. Then I used some black alcohol ink to add some depth to the scratches. Then I cut it back again with the wire brush. After that I wanted to add a little bit more color with some green alcohol ink. After I get up to my finer sandpaper, I touch the rim just a little bit to add some highlights. Lastly I finish the piece with a couple coats of wipe on polyurethane. If you like seeing how I made this bowl and you want to keep up to date with my upcoming videos, you can subscribe by clicking the red button below. You can also see my other projects on Facebook and Instagram or Etsy at jwrwoodworks.etsy.com.